So back in the office, um, probably about half the team uh, back in the office now, working on a blended basis from home. The government guidelines allowed us to return to work where, where possible. Sort of on a rotation with, with other teams. It's been great to come back in and see everybody. Noticing a bit of a, an upturn in terms of clients that are returning from furlough as well. So we're making positive steps to return to an element of what we were used to really, which is good. OBI. How's everyone doing? All right? Yeah, we're in the office. Um, there's a few of us in. Over the last sort of four weeks, we've worked on really looking at what the trends are. So we've done a, a survey to all of our occupier clients. We sent it to numerous executives across kind of the Manchester region just to have a look at the future of the workplace and to see how businesses will adapt in the future just as a result of COVID, kind of what facilities they'd like to see, how they've been working, whether remote working has been successful for them as a business, whether they'd like to adopt that in the future. Some of the key findings were how important wellbeing is, how important collaboration was in the workplace, how community is kind of a number one thing just to keep the business together and keep it all running smoothly and make people happy, employees happy within the workplace. Travelling to work has completely changed. Remote working, that's been very successful, so it's nice to see actually businesses understanding that that's how you know, you'll get the most out of your employees really, giving them the option. Obviously we're sat in the difference now, cafe uh, event space, which we were just about to launch. We'd opened it pre-Covid and we were just about to heavily launch a facility where people can keep, use areas like this and the presentation screen behind me. Clearly that has been put back. So we're now looking at repurposing this space as an exclusive area for people to come together, reunite as teams, reconnect. So it could be used for board meetings or if businesses want to hire the whole uh, venue to, to kickstart their business back coming into Manchester. We've got a dedicated marketing pack for repurposing this space and we're calling it strategy and social. So we wanted to create a safe environment which our clients can have total exclusive use of. So they may want to reunite over breakfast, then do the strategy in here or presentation, um, and then they can finish the day with a, a more social experience where they can use the bar and it's totally safe, clean, and as I say, it will be hired on an exclusive basis so that you know, the public won't be coming in. Um, businesses can use it as a, as a corporate environment. There are people that are making inquiries and we are out doing viewings which again is, is encouraging. I think there'll be a switch in the way people occupy space. Uh, in some instances, you know, office space has been occupied as low as one to seven, one to eight. In the in the post-COVID world they'd need to perhaps revise this occupancy strategy and push it up maybe close to one to ten, but the occupiers will still need the same amount of space. They'll just need to perhaps rethink how they utilise it to sort of to get the best out of it. I think what we've, we've noticed now is remote working's great, but you know you miss that collaborative side of things and being as a team and feeling as part of a business. It's really hard to have these um, chance encounters. You can't do that via the internet and via Zoom calls, and that's where ideas are sparked. I think it's been a bit of an unfair test in the sense that when it's 24 degrees, uh, blue skies, and you know the kids are at home and you can do a bit of work, sit in the garden at lunchtime and have a gin and tonic at half five. Who wouldn't want that? But I, I think that'd be fantastic if it was like that every day. But the reality is when the kids go back to school and uh, everybody in the house is at work and it's, it's winter and it's dark and it's cold and you're sat at home on your own all day, I think that'll get you know, pretty boring pretty quickly. Overhearing people's conversations, um, just communicating far easier. Um, and is you know way more efficient. So I think working from home is here to stay in some capacity, but it's definitely going to be blended with uh, with working from an office. It's where you learn, it's where you develop, and it's where you know ideas are exchanged by offices. It will always be um, fundamental to to sort of human productivity. Interestingly, people have been kind of at the start of this thought that they might have to change how much space that they occupy, so decrease how much they take. However, I think now people are realising actually we need, we need to offer more space or the same amount of space but take away some desks 
and give it back. So in terms of social spacing and quiet zones, um, lounge seating, just a different variety of work settings for people to work in. Hot desking and agile working is going to become a lot bigger than it already was. Uh, people are starting to understand it a little bit more. Um, trusting kind of employees to, to work from home and have that ownership um, of their work and see, I think people are seeing productivity rise as well. Been encouraging landlords to offer flexibility in the immediate term, that's probably here to stay. And also help uh, provide fitted solutions because occupiers are really valuing those spaces which don't incur capex in the immediate term. They need to look at themselves as service providers. So those landlords which really understand tenants' businesses and, and look at helping provide those other spaces, so it's outside space, more bike space, more showers, flexible meeting room spaces. Those landlords which understand service and providing those levels of service to, to occupiers will do well in this market. Being open-minded, you know, most occupiers aren't trying it on when they say they've got cash flow issues. Allowing people to, to change the way they've fitted out their space, letting people come up with new ideas and, and allowing people to downsize where necessary. It's more of a partnership approach rather than a them and us. So I think that's fundamental now more than ever.